today I'm going to show you how to create CICD pipeline of infrastructure. So in short, I'm going to show you infrastructure automation using CloudFormation and code pipeline of AWS. First of all, we need to go to IAM roles. We need to go to IAM and create IAM role for CloudFormation to create AWS sources. Go to the IAM role and create role and select the service service which will use the role so in our case CloudFormation would use our role and what we are going to create we are going to create ec2 instance so i am selecting ec2 full access next tags review and I am saying role for infra infra automation role okay and just create role the next step is we need to go to code commit because we need to maintain our repository okay so just go to the create repository and over here infra repo and just create it i am adding one file over here create file and the name of the file would be infra.json and my name is faraz and here I would be writing my email address. I have written my email address and I have already created one infra file on which I am creating an EC2 instance. I'm just copying it and pasting it. All right. Let's commit it. So we have our infrastructure file. All right. It's time to go to pipelines, code pipeline, and create a pipeline. So create a pipeline. Infra automation pipeline. The, uh, the role, the service role would be created and just click next <clears throat> source provider would be code commit as our infrastructure code is present in code commit repository in aws just select the code commit and next select the repository in our case repository name is infra repo and in the infra repo there would be a, a branch would be named as main just select that and hit next so over here in our tutorial we are not building any stage so just skip this stage and, and at a deploy stage just click the cloud formation and we are working as uh, we are working in north virginia region just select the north virginia region and action mode would be create or update our stack and what would be your stack name so I am supposing would be infra stack and the art artifact name would be like um, infra I have forgotten that let's go and check what would be the what is the name of our repository sorry um, our file in the repository the infra repo uh, inside the infra repo there's a file name infra.json just save the file name copy the file name and paste it over here and the capability uh, capabilities is like what would it be uh, what what are the things it can create 
uh, in terms of IAM, like specify whether you want to allow the cloud formation to create IAM resources on your behalf. In our case, in this tutorial, we are not creating any NIM role or any roles or any policy on a user. Uh, when we would be using that, we can uh, we are supposed to select all these three, okay? And the role would be like infra automation role. Uh, we uh, in the earlier this tutorial, uh, the role which we created, we are supposed to select that, and uh, we can leave his address and all right so just hit next so our pipeline is ready once we create the pipeline over here once it is created it, it would be auto triggered it is getting created so our pipeline is created and it got triggered at first uh, the source stage is in process and you can see it is in progress our first stage is created now it is in second stage which is deploy we can change the name of its uh, name of this stages uh, i just kept it by default we can see by going we can see the progress by going to cloud formation and see what hap what is happening there in our infa stack stack is created just go inside the stack and go to the events so our ec2 instance is getting created now go to the EC2 instance. So this is the instance we just got created. Our instance is created and what it is what happened we just put our infrastructure files file in code commit repository and we just created a um, code pipeline and a code a code pop in code pipeline we just um, uh, reference that code commit as source and the deploy uh, stage with aws cloud formation so what the pipeline did pipeline got the code from co source from code commit aws code commit and executed in cloud formation and whatever the script was written in the code commit uh, infrastructure file it executed and created an stack so what we are gonna do we are gonna change the we are gonna change in the stack so for that i am gonna go to code commit then infrastructure file Let's add it to this file and I am making it like T3 small. Author name is Faraz. Just commit the changes. Once it is committed, just go to the pipeline. it should be triggered by itself yeah it got triggered and it is in progress as we have changed our resource type like instance type of our resource which is created so what it will do it would update the template accordingly so it is updating the template and we can see the events so in the state it would be it would be stop first then change the instance type then it would be running again or would be doing um cloud formation and all would be doing automatically it is getting a stop 
now it is stop cloud permission stack is in update in progress state so as you can see that the instance type is updated it is two times to t2 small and it is the instant state is pending once it would be done it would be in running state again the stack the stack is in uh, update in progress state and the pipeline would be in progress state okay it is in running state and stack is obtained in progress it would be completed Okay, the stack is in update complete in state and the pipeline is also okay, it will be completed soon. Yeah, and it is completed as well. And what we are gonna do, we are gonna override the parameter which we wrote in the in automation file like um, we have written the t2 small and the parameter name is instance type so what we are going to do we are going to override uh, this parameter at pipeline level like this is the pipeline and i am gonna go and edit it edit state and deploy at once and this is the syntax to overwrite instance type and the value would be t2 dot micro instance type right and done and save so before this what was happening we were comment we were committing any change in the file info file and the pipeline was getting triggered by itself so now we have changed one thing in deploy state so to trigger the pipeline we would just click this release change button the pipeline would start automatically and yeah the first stage got completed and it is in the deploy stage and the same function this deploy stage would be updating the stake now go to the machine it is stopping it and we have overwritten the parameter name instance type so in the code commit infrastructure.json file uh, the instance type is t2 small and we have over overwritten the parameter instance type with t2 dot micro so what it will do it will update the value code pipeline will update the value and the result would be the t2 micro currently it is in stop uh, uh, it is stopping state and the cloud formation is in also update in progress state
let it update let it update first it is stopped now the instance type would be changed see the instance type t2 micro is changed now and it is in pending state although in the infrastructure file the instance type is t2 small we have overwritten this parameter on pipeline level and it is in running state And the update stack is completed. Let's go to the pipeline. Refresh the button. Refresh the page by clicking the refresh button. And it is also in complete successfully state. Thank you for watching my video.